Is motorbike riding dangerous? Short answers, yeah. It's the thirtieth today, and on the sixth, my MOT for my motorbike expired. So I said, "All right, cool." It's gonna take me too long to go back home after work, take my bike and go to the MOT garage. So the day before I booked my bike in for an MOT, I spoke to the construction site I'm working at. I spoke to the security guard and asked him if I could park the bike on site. So he said, yeah. So boom, man's turned up in the morning now. And there's an issue, because there's the next security guard that's saying, no, you can't park any com any vehicles with combustible engines. It's a fire hazard to the building, whatever, isn't it? So, it's going back and forth with the security guard. Not an argument, but I'm saying, like, I beg you, allow it, because my bike's a sports bike, and it's a nice-looking bike. Well, at the time, it was, isn't it? Yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. Man, if I leave this bike out on the street, man, I'm going to try and take the bike, innit? That's not happening. Whilst I'm having this conversation with security, man, my project manager's coming through, innit? And I said to him, listen, they're not allowing me to park this bike here, so I'm going home. Because if I can't park, park it in a secure location, I'm not leaving out on the street for these idiot used to come and teeth the bike, innit? So boom, so he said, boy, you know, if you're going home, then forget about the job. I said, no problem. Because, you know, in my mind, my bike is more important than any job. Man, I get a job just like that. Plus, I already had something lined up anyway in the next few days. So, it didn't even matter. So, I parked my motorbike in, a, it's called an NCP car park. It's a secure car park. They got them dotted around central London. Some mad money if you want to park your car there. It's all like £72 for 24 hours. And I think they charge about £6 per hour, whatever, isn't it? So boom, so I parked the bike there, came back after work, bike's cool. Jumped on the bike, taking it to the MOT garage in Tottenham. Got the bike MOT. And on the way home, I figured to myself, imagine if a man smashed up the bike, rolled off the bike, the day he got the MOT, just after the MOT. So I'm sure many other bikers do this. They're on their way home, but instead of going home, they're like, let me just go up there quickly. Let me just jump on the A406 and then I'll go down to Gantzil and then go to the roundabout and come back up. So that's what I did. So I'm going down the A406, got to there, Gantzil on that, turn around, come back, made it home. Bike safely in my yard, mum's yard in Edmonton. The next day, I needed to take my car for an MOT. So that's what happens, isn't it? Like it just it just so happens my car and my bike's MOTs expire in January, isn't it? So I've jumped off the train and I said to myself, you know what, I really should go and get my car MOT, you know. But the weather's alright today, you know. Like it's not sunny or nothing like that, it's winter, but obviously the road is dry and that. So I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I don't know what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow. So it might rain, so I might not be able to take the bike out. So you know what? I'm gonna take the bike out today, innit? Boom. Gone home, taking the bike out, jumped on the bike. I've got a couple routes that I take when I'm riding my bike. One of them is the A406 down to like near Blackwall Tunnel and that and back. And the other one is the A10 and the M25. M25 towards like Potter's Bar and that. So boom, just jumped on the bike now, jumped on the A10, whiz past fucking Krispy Kreme. Obviously, man, I have to keep it at 40 miles an hour because obviously they got them dumb speed cameras, the variable speed cameras on that road now. So, got to the M25 junction. I think it's like junction 25 or something like that. Isn't it? Obviously, it's rush hour these times, isn't it? so I'm expecting there to be a little bit of traffic in it. Now, there's a slip road down the left that takes you onto the M25 from the A10. Gone down the slip road. And what I should have done was I should have gone around the roundabout to see if there was traffic because you can look over the edge in it and see the road see the motorway but I didn't so it merged onto this slip road now pure traffic like chocker block traffic you know like when the traffic's not moving like one mile an hour yeah 
So I'm like, fuck it. You know what I was gonna do? I was gonna, I was gonna jump on the the, the hard shoulder and turn the bike around and ride up the wrong way. But I thought, you know what? Fuck it. Let me just filter through this traffic. And so boom, man's filtering through the traffic and that. And yeah, I'm starting to get to the end of where all this traffic is. I don't even know what what caused all the traffic or whatever, isn't it? So I'm riding now. Next thing you know, bam! I've come off the bike. The bike slid out. Luckily, a man's wearing his boots. Get me, city boots. Alpine stars, leathers, isn't it? Now, I've got a motorbike jacket to go with my leather trousers, but I don't wear it. I wear my, my, my yellow, well, my gold JY jacket and some body armor underneath. So, I was wearing that in here. So, as soon as the bike slid out, now I'm sliding. Man got up, just dusted myself off. I carried on walking, like, I felt like a fucking G, you know, like. A man's come off the bike and I got up like, like it was nothing. Yeah. So anyway, I'm walking up to the bike and a man's picked the bike up, innit? The left-hand side of the bike, scratched up, crash bung's come off. If you're, so you're not a biker watching this, a crash bung is like a, it's like a piece of the bike that basically protects the, the panels and that if the bike falls on the floor. But obviously if the crash bung, the thing that sticks out to the side, if that snaps off, obviously your bike's going to scratch up on the side and that, innit? So man's picked up the bike now and I wish, you know what, I need to get a fucking GoPro as well. GoPro is just a camera that you keep at the side of your helmet. Like, I wish I could have caught that on camera and it, but yeah. So boom, man's picked up the bike now and jumped on the bike and I can feel, feel like the handlebars is a bit, a bit dodgy, isn't it? Like, I feel like the bike, like the tracking's out, if you get what I mean. Like, you know, like you're riding straight, but the bike wants to kind of slightly veer to one side or whatever, isn't it? So boom, man's gone up the road now, come back, boom, made it home. So, man didn't get in no serious accident or nothing like that. But you know what could have been dangerous though? So, man's come off the bike, and man's sliding down the road, isn't it? Cool. But, what if there were cars on the move beside me, or just behind me? And then man, they ain't too sharp on the brake. You see, when you come off the bike, coming off the bike's all right. If you got levers on, boots on, helmet on, body armor, whatever in it. It's what you hit or what might hit you. Yeah, what might run over you. If you come off the bike and you hit a, a lamppost, a fence, a brick wall, fucking post box or a car, or a lorry runs over your body, boy, that's when you're gonna be in problems. So, coming off the bike's not too bad, but it's what you hit like. So if you if you ever go on, on a bike track, like near me, I'm up in Northampton at the moment, Silverstone is a bike track, you'll be all right if you come off a bike, you've got the protective gear and that. But when you're on the road, if someone runs over your body, God forbid, Boy, I don't boy, I don't know anyone who's who's been in a serious accident like that any. I hope to not know no one or nothing like that any, you know. But talking about accidents, you know why most riders end up in accidents? See this is the thing, yeah. Don't get it twisted. I'm a car driver and when you, even when I'm on my bike and that, I see some other car drivers do some dumb movements. Man just pull out. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even look. And I think to myself, like, if I was on my bike or a next bike I was riding, would that person have looked to see if they see a bike or whatever in it? Like, I, I, I hope so. Because some of these people just pull out confidently, and I'm hoping that they check. Because if they didn't, that biker would have been in a serious problem. I've even had car crashes where a man has not looked and pulled over to the next lane and smashed up my car and right rip off my car and I think to myself like rah if I was on my bike boy that would have not been good trust me trust me but a lot of bikers that get into accidents they automatically blame the car drivers ah oh, that car driver shit don't get twisted there's a lot of shit car drivers on the road yeah when they get into this bike accident and they say yeah I was doing the speed limit at the time of the accident and that. You know what part they forget to tell you? The part where five minutes ago, 
Them man, they was busting one fat wheelie. Them man, they was riding at 120 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the time of the accident, though, I was doing 70 miles an hour and this guy pulled out and he didn't see me. No, but what they failed to realise is if they weren't riding like a jackass before, 120 miles an hour, 130 miles an hour on a 70 mile an hour road, you wouldn't have been in that position at that particular time in the road for a man to pull out and do a dumb move on you. As bikers, us man, we need to protect ourselves. We can't rely on these fucking these drivers because trust me, when I'm in my in my car now, I see people pull over and that, like change lanes. And sometimes when I'm a passenger, I see people change lanes. And these people are mad, you know. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm a biker or whatever, but these people that drive their cars just use their side mirrors. But I don't rely on my side mirrors. I might look in my side mirror to see if anything's approaching, you know, in the distance. But when I'm changing lanes, when I'm shifting lanes, get me, God forbid I let down a fucking biker. So, like, when I'm on my bike and like, I'm just, I'm thinking that really and truly I'm invisible to these people because I know these people don't see me. And there's been times as well where I've been driving my car and I can see a biker, maybe they're on a bike or a screw or whatever in a moped, it don't matter, innit, yeah? And they're approaching me, innit, yeah? Whether it's on my left-hand side or my right-hand side, innit? And I'm looking in the mirror and I'm waiting for that moment when they actually disappear in the mirror and they're actually in my blind spot. And sometimes you've got even a second or whatever, innit? During that one second, that's when you could take out a man. Yeah? So, more about riding is... I mean, he's dangerous. He's dangerous. But more times, the fucking riders that cause the accidents and get themselves in danger. You know, I know this as well. I've been on ride outs with, man. 10, 20, 30 man on a ride out. Mad. You might pull over, pit stop, on the way to Stevenage or something like that. Man, I come up to man and make conversation, whatever, innit, yeah? Oh, how long you had this bike for? I'm like, yeah, I had this bike three, four years, whatever, 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 innit, yeah? You got a license? I don't know if a man's asking me if I got a license because a man look young or something like that, innit? Like, yeah, 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 I got a license. Like, have you? Nah, fam, I ain't got no license, innit? Fam, you mad? Like, this man actually out here riding down the road with no license. Fam, what are you doing, fam? You're not legal to be on the road, fam. You're asking for an accident. You know what, man, there's excuses for not riding with a license. Riding without a license. I'm on a 1000. If the police try to pull me over, I'm gone. So you 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 leave your yard anticipating a police chase. And, and these are the same men that end up in accidents and claim that drivers are shit and that no fam, you're not supposed to be on the road to even get into anything with these shit drivers. Man, riding down the road. Been on ride outs with man again. Man are riding down the road with no fucking license plate on their bike. Like if you're riding on the road with no license plate on your bike, and these, these men out here are trying to do crime and all that, like, I know them little idiot youths that go to Central London and teeth bikes, yeah, they'll be on their bikes and that uh, with no license plate, because obviously, whatever, innit? But these men are just going for a ride. Like, you know you're going out your way to do some foolishness. You're not going to be riding properly if you're riding without a license plate. So that means you're doubling the speed limit all the way, yeah? Them cameras are flashing, but they ain't picking up nothing, fam. So, yeah, the short of it, motorbike riding is dangerous, yeah, but more so it's the riders that get themselves into trouble. Any time I've ever had any, I've never had a major bike accident. Any time I've had any little business on my bike is during slow speeds. To be fair though, there was one time when I was riding towards Bayswater Road and some guy has done a three point turn in the road, didn't it? And I broke in time, but because the road was where I ended up rolling off the bike, the front wheel seized up and I flipped over the bike. But other than that, any little minor altercations I've had, whether it's to do with a car or whatever in it, yeah, it's always at slow speed or whatever. Innit? So I might have been lucky in it. But anytime I've been in some close shaves or whatever, at high speeds, it was my fault. 100, 120 miles an hour, filtering through traffic, lifting up the front wheel and that. Come on, fam. Come on, man, like... And you got man out here as well, riding without leathers, riding without gear, without boots. Man only wearing a helmet because it's compulsory. 
There's a guy in Tottenham. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, he's about 42 years old. He's in a wheelchair. Because he was one of the man them. Yeah, I'm just going to go up the road or whatever, innit? Yeah. Probably in sliders or just little trainers or whatever, innit? Yeah, shorts and that. Come off the bike. Man's rolling. Man's rolling. Yeah. Probably didn't have a license as well. Like these men that like, ride around without license. Like, bro, what do you think this is, fam? You ain't passed your test. You ain't qualified to be on the road. What do you think this is, blood? What, you think you're in IB for? Or, 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 or Greece? Or Thailand or whatever, innit? Where the government don't give a fuck. I'm like, yeah, whatever, innit? As long as you got the money, jump on the bike. Nah, fam. Man, I'm moving like they're 14, 15. That's some dumb shit. Riding motorbikes, riding big bikes and that without a license and without gear. So, yeah, man. The bike thing... It's dangerous, short of it is dangerous, long of it is more time. It's the riders that get themselves into trouble, innit? Yeah. So any of my riders watching this right now, make sure you wear your fucking gear, boots, levers. I don't give a fuck how hot it is. If it's too hot to ride in your levers and that, don't. Yeah. So if you're a rider watching this right now, ride safe, stay wise.